Thanks for logging on to the Mountain West Digital Network. We're talking Fresno State men's basketball with junior guard Kevin Olekibe. Kevin, you guys come into the Mountain West, and I'm sure you know this league is just heavy with guards. I mean, there are some of the top guards in the country that play in this league. How much are you looking forward to challenging yourself against the likes of you know, Jamal Franklin, whether it be Luke Martinez, Dorian Green? I mean, the list goes on. Yeah, uh, the Mountain West is a, is a tough competitive uh, conference, and I look forward to it. You know, I mean, I worked hard in the off season, and I was ready for this moment, so I think that will be a great challenge for me. Last couple of the years, uh, you guys have struggled in the WAC. I think by you guys' own standards, things get ratcheted up a little bit now in the Mountain West. How do you guys see yourselves fitting into the new league? I think it's, uh, I think I see us fitting in well. I mean, the coach has done a great job with us. They pushed us hard. We worked our hardest that uh, since Coach Terry's been here this off season. So he's gotten us prepared, and he knows what he wants from us, and we know what what we got to do for him. You average nearly 18 points a game as a sophomore. Where did you get better during the off season? That you look back on the spring and say, I'm a much better player today than I was then. Uh, I would say uh, defensively, I think I, uh, my defense has gotten better, uh, my ball handling has gotten better. You know, just uh, working out in the summer with my teammates, going to the gym, is just the little things that make your game better, and that's what I think I improved on. Coach Terry says he's really preaching toughness and defense in practice. What are some of those practices like when you guys are really getting after it on the defensive side of the ball? It's real tough. One practice we had an all-defensive day, and it's just watching is crazy. So I mean, Coach Terry, like he knows what he knows how to get it out of us, and we know that we got to do it for him. And Tyler Johnson, what does he bring to the table that, that helps you? Uh, helps me uh, another score off the ball. You know, teams are not just gonna be able to hone in on me. They gotta watch out for Tyler. Tyler can create uh, on and off the ball, and he can shoot too. Who is a player or a couple of players that, as we sit here today, maybe I don't know about, fans in the Mountain West don't know about, but say, you're going to know about this player who plays on our team by the end of the season? Um, I'll say Tyler. I'll say Tyler. And why is that? Because he just, when you, when you see Tyler play, he's going to be all over the floor on offense and defense, and he just stands out. You're a Vegas native? Now you're going to make an annual trip to the Thomas and Mack Center. People are already on the, the horn calling you for tickets saying we're going to be there for that game? Yeah, I've gotten a lot of calls for that game. What do you think that will be like, getting a chance to go home and play in front of your home crowd, your family, your friends that you grew up in twice a, or two times the rest of your career? Uh, I think it will be a great experience, you know, something I'll be looking forward to and just ready to go. What would be a success for the Bulldogs in your mind this season? Uh, we always uh, compete to win and we try to win and control our effort and I think winning the Mountain West is what we look forward to and making it to postseason play. You know, we play the game to win. Kevin, appreciate it. Thank you. Good luck to the Bulldogs. Thanks for logging on to the Mountain West Digital Network.